Hi guys! So today I have for you a TK Maxx haul. As you know, I love TK Maxx. It's one of my favourites and I'm really quite hopeful about a fair few things here. My name's Fawn, this is my channel and it's a happy place. It's a place where ladies of a certain age, you know, we come together, we have a bit of a chuckle, we know each other's pain and the struggle of trying to look young, fashionable, oh well come on, let's be fair, just plain decent sometimes. So if you're like that and you want to know, well, where to put your mascara or what jumper looks good on you, this is a great channel to be at. So please do give me a thumbs up, subscribe and leave me a comment. So as you know, I have a bit of an addiction for TK Maxx, but you know what? I feel it's a very justified addiction. I think they're so good, so marvellous, I'm not going to give it up. So, here we go. There were two things that I ordered that weren't clothing. There were things for around the house. Um, and I, I ordered them online because they weren't available in my local shop. And both of them arrived broken. So I can't even show those to you. But the clothing, thankfully, it's very difficult to break. So first up, I saw this coat. Now, I don't wear coats, guys, because I get too hot. But this one, I just loved. It's this camel colour. It's got, can you see, blue and pink on the collar if you flip it out. Camel lined. It's by Department 19, which I don't know who they are or, you know, what they're to do with. It does say designed in London. So they're obviously a London company. It's nicely lined. It's not heavy. It's lightweight. But I just thought it looked absolutely gorgeous. And the original price on it was 79 99 and I got it for $29.99. So I thought it was definitely worth a try. Next up was a jumper. Uh, oops. Again, this, this is a pushing me one. It's black, which you say, what's pushing about that for? But it has, and I don't know if they'll come across, little black sparkles on it. You know, I'm not a sparkly person. But I like the fact that it's got this, I think they call it eyelash lace around the neck of it. It's a little bit of a dolman. This one was $16.99. It's made by a company called Veuve Ami. So something friend. But I just thought it looked just cute and maybe sort of slightly dressy so that I could feel like I've made an effort but really it's just a black jumper. Then I ordered a dress, you know me and dresses. I love them, they flatter my figure, they hide a lot of what's going on. <laughs> and this one is, I think they call this eye cat print. Black and white, it's got a little flowy sleeve here. Um, it's got an opening, no buttons or anything. I would say it is probably a slightly empire waist, but then it has tears going down. It's a lovely soft jersey fabric. Um, it's made by Lux Lux, and I've had some good luck with Lux Lux <laughs> in the past. And this one was only, oh gosh, where's the price tag? Oh, there isn't one. Have they attached it? Sometimes they attach it to the bag. No, let me have a look on here. Sorry, guys. Um, 16 pounds. So it's got to be worth a try, hasn't it? Then I picked up a cardigan. Look at this beautiful cardigan. It's blue. It has a hood. As if you can't see that it's blue. It's really smooth. Long sleeves. Pockets on the front. Nice straight front. I just thought it looked gorgeous. It's by... A company called Yida. I think it's Yida. Made in Italy. There isn't an original price, but I paid $29.99, which is maybe slightly high for a, um, a woolly from TK Maxx. But honestly, if you could feel how thick this is and how nice it is, you'd understand. Then I ordered a black jacket. I'm looking for a biker jacket that isn't that plastic. It isn't a biker jacket because it is a straight zip on the front. It's by Vera Moda. I thought it was really nice. It's got silver hardware. It's got angled pockets. It's got a nice little bit of shaping in the back. 
I thought it looked lovely and it's got this, it's that sort of pretend suede fabric. So it feels not, you know, I can only try, can't I? And this was originally, hang on. This was originally £65 um, and I paid for it. Is that the price there? Yes, it is. £16.99. So, you know, you've got to try it when it's £16.99, haven't you? Put these bags out of the way. Then, you know me, I can't just order one thing. I ordered a dress. This is a, oh, sorry, it's making a heck of a din. For some reason, this one is beautifully wrapped in plastic and on a hanger. This is by a company called Sharagano. It's a navy shirt dress, short sleeves with a sort of a bit of a roll up, but it's, you know, it's more for the look than for what it does. Buttons all the way through with gold buttons. Reasonably sort of a liney skirt. I just thought it looked really nice. I think it's a very classic thing. Um, does it have an or original price on it? It doesn't. It's Sharagano, New York. It sounds like anyone can say they're from New York or Paris, don't they? But that one was uh, £24.99. Great price, isn't it? One more piece of clothing. Look at this. It's a rust-coloured corduroy jacket. Oh, it's by a company called Noisy May. Um, I am concerned that it might not be big enough. I couldn't get it oversized, which is what I really prefer to do. This is absolutely my size and, and no more kind of thing. But it was down to 14 99 and I don't know that the colour is coming off very well, but I really think it would be a good colour on me. So I got that to try. Um, and then last but not least is a pair of boots because I'm replenishing my boots as you know. Now these are really different for me. They are by Clarks because I love Clarks. Oops. And as you know, TK Maxx do Clarks. But look at these ladies. I like the little stuck heel. They're pretend snake skin pointy toe zip on the inside and I do like that little it's coming out black detail with the little rivets in it I thought they would get cute and when I was wearing like an all black outfit I thought that would sort of break it up a little bit so that was it oh and they were sorry guys they were hmm Reduced to £34.99, and we all know Clark's, they've got to have been about £65, maybe £75. It doesn't have the original price on here, but £34.99, I'm giving them a go. So here we go, let's try them. I thought I'd start with what I was most excited about, which is this jacket. Excited and nervous about. Now I could do it up, ladies. If I wanted to, I could. I wouldn't ever... But I sort of feel like maybe, maybe it's a bit too small. I don't know. I mean, I would wear it like this. I like the arms. There's room in the back. I'll give you a spin. So as I say, I could do it up. Yes, I definitely could do it up. But it would be very snug. I never would. But should I say no? Oh, look at this colour. Oh, look at this colour. I want to come in and oh, I want you to really get the feast your eyes. Feast your eyes. It's fabulous. But just does it look, I just feel that like maybe it should have a little, you know, if it's sort of hung there, might be a bit better. But the minute the, the boobies come into play, it moves to there. So does it make it look too small? <laughs> I have a horrible suspicion it does which is uh, devastating, but such is life. After that one, I had to go for something that I know will fit. And it's this cardigan, and I think it's lovely. I'm hoping you guys like it too. It feels really nice. It's thick, but I don't feel 
suffocated in it. I think it is the perfect size. This is what I meant about it being open and not too, I guess the other one was there, wasn't it? Uh, anyway, it's got a hood. I don't think I'd be ever likely to wear it with the hood up. No, <laughs> but in theory I could. And it's sort of a nice little extra with it that it's got the hood. It's 29.99, which is one of the more expensive things, but I just really like it. I can see myself reaching for this and throwing it on with jeans and so on over and over again. Yeah. I think this one's a winner. This one, I couldn't do up. It is miles away. Well, I could do it up around the waist, but forget it when you get up here. It is nice. It is exactly the sort of thing I'm looking for. Sleeve length is great. Oh, there's not very much movement in the back. Uh, there's not much to say really, is there? It just doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't fit. Oh dear me. <laughs> Thank God for small mercies. This was made in London. So the sizing is right. It fits beautifully. Look at that. I mean, it's so rare that I would ever do a button up. But it does only have the one, which is <laughs> about the most I could ever tolerate. Great pockets. I think the length on it is fabulous. It feels like real quality. It feels like luxury. The arm length is just right. Um, it has this really fun pop of colour on the collar. I do tend to wear collars up on things like this. But even if I did go really conventional and put it down and you know I think it would really work with that beautiful new scarf that I bought so oh thank goodness something fits I was beginning to think it was me and not the sizing <laughs> so here's the jumper and I think I like it guys it is slightly shaped not completely boxy. You know, some of them you get, when you open your arms, you've got like a ton of fabric under here. I think it's fairly flattering on the back. I mean, as flattering as any clean material can be, because let's, you know, let's not cut corners here. No, not cut corners. I know, I know what I'm trying to say. Let's not beat around the bush here. I have got back fat. But I like it. Can you see the sparkles? I don't know if they're coming through. I shall come right up. I'll shake my chest at the camera. Can you see those little black sparkles and this little bit of, I'm pretty sure they call it eyelash lace. It does make it feel like a slightly dressier top. Um, I can pull the sleeves up because again, that's me. But I think that's fab. I'm really pleased with this one. I think it fits just right or as well as any jumper can on me. So I also want to show you the boots because I've put them on. So I will put the camera down and you can have a little look. hope you can see them I think you can so that's what they look like on are they good or are they tacky I can't make up my mind um there are narrow fit ladies so if you do have wide feet they wouldn't work um because I can properly feel I mean I don't have fat feet but or wide feet but I can feel the sides they're beautifully soft you know the, the the bend of the foot the heel i think is nice um do they make my feet look big that's i'm sort of worrying that my feet look big in them and look wrong Ugh. do you know i just don't know i'm gonna have to take your advice on these boots guys because i really and honestly i am not sure in my head i like them they are comfortable, they are really comfortable, they're clocks, they're leather, you know, the heel is nice, not too much, not too little, but are they a bit, ooh, I don't know, wade in please, thank heavens for small mercies, I think this dress is gorgeous, I feel great in it, it is so unbelievably soft, I think the fit of it is lovely, it is slightly empire, but not like really pronounced so, it has the V, it has these sleeves with a little bit of a bell at the bottom, 
and then tears to the skirt. I think the fit on it is great. It will go with just about everything. This is throw it on at the beginning of the day and no, you look tidy all day long. I'll come in so you can see the pattern. What I mean about the sleeves being slightly bell shaped. I really love it. Um, this one I do not need any advice for. It's staying. I love it. Oh, thank goodness some things are working out for me. <laughs> okay. Ladies in New York don't have boobs like mine, clearly. I love this dress. It's got pockets. I like the length. I like the fact that it's slightly sober, slightly more serious version of me. I mean, I could wear it so many places, but it is straining over the chest. Um, I didn't, well, I mean, if I, I can do this button up, of course, but I have a, a major gape problem. And can you see that it's straining? I don't know that it will actually show that it's straining. Now, the only possibility, because I really like this dress, potentially is to put some sort of camisole underneath and actually leave these buttons undone. This is me thinking outside the box now. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pause the video, pop and get a camisole and see, because I do really like it. It's just the bosoms and you, you can see that it's pulling on the back where the bosoms are so trying to escape out of the dress. Okay, no, <laughs> that doesn't work. If I unbutton, it really looks like I'm, um, it looks like I'm serving two jacket potatoes in a hammock. I will show you what I mean. I don't know how much of that is coming across, but <laughs> I mean, maybe if I was 30 years younger, I might think, ooh, I'm sexy, but truthfully, I know what it looks like. I've said two chicken potatoes and it really looks like two old men's bald heads sitting there just wanting to peek. So, as much as I love it, this is a no. I'm not doing very well with New York. Maybe I'm just not figuring the sizing out properly. Or maybe, as I say, they just don't have as big bazookas. But I've seen some of you ladies on your YouTube channels and you have got big bazookas. So what do you do? Please let me know. So there you go. You win some, you lose some. The one dress, fabulous. The other one, no. The jackets, the two little jackets, the two that I was most excited about, the rust one and the um, black one. I don't think they work. Oh, well, I mean, the black one definitely doesn't work, but I don't think the rust one does either, if I'm honest. I think I'd need at least one size up just to give a little bit more fabric here. Even though I can do it up, it wouldn't look good if I did do it up. But I do have a lovely coat. My first coat in I don't know how many years. It does feel slightly more like a jacket than a coat, but it looks like a coat. And my cardigan was gorgeous. And then there's those boots. I felt a bit like I was doing fancy dress in them. So I think maybe that's telling me that they're not for me. Maybe I should give up on all this animal print hunting that I'm doing at the moment. But I do like it when I see it on others. Uh, so yeah, I think they're going to go back too. So as of all of that, a dress, a coat, oh and a jumper. I liked the jumper. So it's not a dead loss, is it? And let's be fair, if I kept everything I bought and if everything looked fabulous on me, I would have to build an extension for my wardrobe. And five on Friday would have to turn into 15 on Friday or God forbid, 50 on Friday. So yeah, I'm not too downhearted, but that rust jacket, oh gosh, I liked it. I really liked it. I hope you're all having fun and finding things that make your heart go pitter pat. I know. Some people are going to say we're shallow at this time with everything that's going on in the world. But you know what? If opening my wardrobe door and seeing a jacket or a skirt or a dress or something and putting it on makes me feel just that little bit more in control and, and happier about my life, do you know what? I'm going to carry on doing it and so should you. So I hope you enjoyed. 
you know I'm going to be back in TK Maxx. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.